so in spite that the tellurium is bonded to uh, in the same uh, supramolecular way the molecule is different in both but the most spectacular result on, on this is that when it goes into the biological molecule all of them all of them the three there's uh, chlorine bromine and iodine the three and another one but the three they are arranged in the same way that means that this molecule rotates over here over this sigma bond and comes back uh, to the z form as it was uh, uh, to the other two ones so again from ab initio from just from the molecule we don't know and we cannot predict how molecules will arrange but the uh, uh, important thing is that we can see how they uh, can change in different environments so then we decided to go on and this is uh, pretty brand new it's from this year where it is ca coming the other way around again it's uh, what we call the bio inspired uh, cellurium pi iron sand synton so that is because it was first seen the first time we came across this kind of interactions is in a zero thyro reduxin reductase that is a, a protein that has a selenium cysteine inside uh, you may know uh, my students know it that we have all now 22 different amino acids and one of them is a selenocysteine and this is a natural uh, amino acid and then we start we started on looking how this selenium behaves in the biological molecule and we found ah that is very nice with like the one we've seen for tellurium and lead and, uh, and all that things so but is the there are many cases well there are not many much problems with that but then we uh, we went to see in dna in dna where there is a molecule with uh, we have a substitution with a selenium oh again we have a selenium pi uh, interaction so of course next step the if the biology says that is possible this is all experimental why not to look in small molecules and that's the reason uh, the supramolecular aggregation patterns by based on bio uh, inspired molecules so we started from there and we went to the small molecules again with then this kind of uh, interactions that explained again the way molecules uh, make crystals so we have the 0d the 1d and this also that was uh, discussed uh, for a few weeks this is when we have this uh, kind of uh, moiety where we have a uh, phosphorus double bonded to the selenium that was uh, also not very much expected for this kind of uh, molecule so in order to finish this conclusions all these kind of interactions metal lone pair pi interactions and lone pair pi uh, lone pair pi interactions of all the kind we have described they are responsible for the stabilizing of the crystal structures and that is very important that is very important because the for example the pharmaceutical industry is uh, crazy around how molecules will uh, arrange one of the other it's the whole bunch of things about uh, polymorphism and all that uh, the the same molecule arranges in different ways and you cannot predict that unless you know all the kind of different 
interactions that molecule can do between them. And this is that not only they stabilize the crystal structures, also they lead to well-defined supramolecular aggregates. That is, they are responsible for the way the molecules are aggregate, and that means that the bricks, that is the symptoms, are very, very well definite, uh, defined in this kind. And what is most important, that is, I always said we have in to include that that in our lexicon that what does it mean we have to look for this kind of interaction whenever we are dealing with uh, solid state it doesn't matter which kind of solid state we are not uh, getting into that the the question is and this is an not answered question with but this very important question is can we control the intramolecular forces? There is no answer up to now. That is, we cannot predict. And of course, the from time to time, there are round robins uh, of uh, different laboratories trying to guess uh, the structure or how one or different kind of molecules are going to get together to make a crystal. So. To then we have to have the understanding and how to control that. And this is for people that understand, and we are very much, uh, the world is very much uh, concerned now what is going in Europe. So if we, I would show that in Europe, they would be just <laughs> shaking. Uh -huh. Because it is, uh, it is the international found, yeah, monetary found, yeah, uh, so Fundo Monetario Internacional. So we can control them, whatever it means. <laughs> we are interested in, in, in uh, intermolecular forces. We cannot. We have not enough knowledge of that. And I would not say, not even about the hydrogen bond. We have millions and that's millions of hydrogen bonds described in the literature, but we don't have a model, even up to now. And the question is, why we don't have a, a model? Well, perhaps the model is so simple we cannot see it, or perhaps it's so difficult uh, to have uh, a model for that. And then things come bigger than all these things, and it, ends, uh, it ended this year with this book, about pi interactions in crystal engineering and the uh, we have from it we have two chapters this is and the number of the third chapter were chosen just to uh, have some relationship with the first uh, published paper on that but the here we this uh, different authors they describe the importance of the pi interactions in pharmacology, the pi interactions in uh, metal industry, and so on and so forth. And there is a whole chapter describing how calculations can be done with this kind of uh, work. So this is uh, the main contributors to this work. These are the heads of the different uh, uh, research groups that are were shown in the different uh, papers. Uh, of course, we have, as always, we have to thank the people that is paying for all that. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you very much.